roll intro. Now, who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores? You tell me who flop, who cop the blue drop, who jewels got blocks, who mostly go she down to the blue drop? The same old pimp, mace, you know ain't nothing changed but my limp. Can't stop till I see my name on a blimp. Guarantee me and shells for the level up. You don't believe in Harlem world, nigga, double up. We don't play around, it's a bet, lay it down. Niggas didn't know me, 91, bet they know to SPM, what an OG told me, but before we get into that, please remember to like, comment, and also match the energy of that subscribe button, and hit that post notification bell, and whatever um, requests you guys have, you can hit me up on social media, or you can leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to them, so let's just, without any further ado, let's just jump straight into this reaction. Lowe's front and foe. I bought a club and they filled up with envy. Now everybody pissed cause they can't get in free. New enemies still popping up. Throw away gats, still chop them up. I walk in and the whole club stands still. More money, more problems, that's real. This is what an OG. I love that part. The more money, more problems. That reminded me of Mace and um, P. Diddy and B.I.G. And I always sit there and make reference when I do an SPM reaction that he reminds me so much of um big and tupac so to hear that line from um biggie's mo money mo problems which is basically my new intro i love that he did that shout out and that salute and it's basically relating to basically him saying what an og told me because you're getting that sense that he actually sat down being in the game and living in the streets that somebody was teaching him and and telling him the game and how to maneuver and operate within the streets to make sure that he keeps himself alive but also provide for his family. So I love his storytelling capability and like that truism that he speaks. Let's jump back into it. He told me filthy rich and dying lonely fuck a Benz and fuck a Roly life is what you make it homie. This is what an OG told me filthy rich and dying lonely fuck a Benz and fuck a Roly life is what you make it homie. My little baby girl just turned six. I gave her the biggest room in my crib. She gets what she wants, so does her mom. I don't think they know the value of a dollar. Fine ass bitches. And I want to say that, make reference to that. He said that he bought a new crib, but he gave the biggest room to his um daughter. And you know how, like, when you have the master bedroom, it's always basically given to, like, the man of the house or the woman of the house. And it's the master bedroom. But he's basically showing that he's, like, he has so much love. And so much support for his um little girl that he's just like, no, you're the princess. You're the queen of this house. You get the biggest room. So I love how he's equating that and um, showcasing that. Let's jump back into it. All in my limousine. 
I just wish I was jumping on my trampoline With my babies, I miss my children To me that's worth more than trillions and trillions She calls me fat boy, says I'm loco And she doesn't understand when I gotta go Hope she doesn't think I don't wanna be with her Hope she knows that it hurts not to be with her Hope she knows that with her I'm the happiest I can't make it to her piano practices When I was young, my old man left us And I prayed that she won't be like I was trying to wonder if that's the direction that he's going to go in and have Carolyn Rodriguez. Is she going to be, is she going to come on like Faith Evans did towards the end and give like this harmony? But that's what I'm getting from um him. Like I'm almost feeling like he's like doing like channeling like this P. Diddy energy and giving a tribute to maybe someone who he has lost that was this OG and that told him and taught him the game. Sort of like how Biggie kind of was to P. Diddy in a way, at least in my opinion, that's how um, Biggie was to P. Diddy. Um, you could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but um, it's kind of giving that um, some that type of like energy for me. Like it's almost like he's paying homage to the person who came before him and taught him the game. And this person may have passed away, so he's showing his support to that person by dedicating this song to them, and that's the type of energy I'm getting from that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong. But let's get back into it. Wanna play me close? Do you really wanna meet Carlos? Do you really wanna feel my wrath? Mad cause your bitch want my autograph? Nigga, I don't wanna fuck yo hoe, but I let her suck my dick and lick my asshole. I started out with a silly game of footsie. Now I gotta eat not a best friend's pussy. Rolling hydro, sipping on Chris. When I was broke, I would dream about this. Get my back rubbed in a big bathtub. I don't know her name, but she's showing me. I got seven G's sitting in my pants And my jewelry is underneath those lamps I'm getting sleepy, all you hoes got a bell Once again I'm in the bed by myself All alone in another city I get my bill, the Chris was 950 Two G's for the bottles of Don P It was just me and the hoes was free This is what an OG told me I love SPM when he ta attacks his last verses it's something about SPM when he hits these last verses that he just goes straight animal, straight, straight savage mode, straight shiesty mode, where he doesn't take no prisoners, and he's letting you know that he's about to finish you. Like, it's crazy how he just goes crazy, goes loco, and every time he sits there and says that, somebody says that he's loco, like, he just goes crazy on the last verse, and he just finishes off. Like, he starts amazing, and he finishes, like, even more amazing to the second power like he, he like there's no off day with spm when he's um attacking these verses and that's another reason why i love him as an artist and as a rapper because like there's sometimes you know you have those artists that sit there and take time off on bars but he just goes for the kill straight through and i love that let's get back into it filthy rich and dying lonely fuck a bands and fuck a rolly life is what you
dog. That was deep. I like that. I really like that. I'm actually surprised no one requested that. Because that was an amazing song. I'm really surprised no one requested that. Okay, but let me um just finish off this um reaction. What I love about SPM and Carolyn Rodriguez with What an OG Told Me is I love it because it reminds me, like I said at the beginning, of, like in the middle of the reaction where it reminded me of P. Diddy and Faith Evans. So, tribute song to Biggie after he passed away. Every step I take, I love that song and I love this. And I wonder is that where SPM and Carolyn Rodriguez, um, kind of, um, got their inspiration from from creating this song because it was very similar to that. At least for me, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So somebody let me know in the comments below if you agree if you heard that song by Faith Evans and Biggie. But then I also stated that because right on cue is when I sat there and said that I wonder if she's going to harmonize like Faith Evans did at the end of the song. Carolyn Rodriguez comes in with the vocals and powerfully, might I add, and just kills it. I love how she was able to go high but then drop down. And I love when um, women are able to do that and even men too as well because that shows that you have vocal range and you can sing to be able to occupy a space like that is amazing and I thought that they killed it. I thought they did an amazing job and I would definitely give this song a 10 out of 10 and would be listening to this all the time just because of that 90s flair and feel it gave me. But let me know what you thought of SPM what, what an OG told me featuring um, Carolyn Rodriguez in the comments below. And with that being said, please remember to be safe out there. Remember to stay awesome. Be awesome because you guys are all awesome. This is your boy Mark and I'm signing off deeply. Peace.